Hey everyone, it's Doodlebricks, and welcome on into this review of the Showgirl minifigure from Minifigure Series 21. Now, Minifigure Series 21 isn't supposed to come out until 2021, so you may be asking, how did I get this figure? Lego didn't send it to me early. <laughs> I wish. Now, uh, so somehow I guess this figure found its way out of the factory early. Then I guess someone got that, put it on eBay, and then I got this figure from them. So, I was able to get this figure from somebody off eBay early from... I think it was Germany. I don't know. But, yeah. I was lucky enough to get this figure early. So, this is how I'm bringing you this review today. Now, can I just say, this is an amazing figure. It has so much detail on it, and it just looks fantastic. Starting off with this figure, the headdress piece is incredible. It looks absolutely fantastic. So that is not dual molding on it, this is just a print on this piece that's uh, molded in teal, I'm pretty sure it is. So it's not dual molding, but the print is really high quality. I don't really see any transparency there, and it looks fantastic. In the front here, she also has some sparkles that are metallic, and they look really great and sparkly. The molding for her headdress piece is just so incredible. There's so much detail for the feathers up here, it just looks fantastic. Going around to the back, the back detailing is quite good as well. There's no printing there, but this little section right here looks really great, and I really appreciate how they got these little lines for the back of the feathers here. Overall, this headdress piece just looks so good, and I am really happy with how this has come out. Moving on to the face, she has a fantastic face print. She has metallic lipstick and eyeshadow, and that looks really great. I'm not sure how good it comes out on video here, but in real life, it really is very metallic and shiny, and it looks fantastic. She also has some sparkles uh, at the sides of her eyes right here, and she has just a really nice smile and overall look. And I'm not sure if you can see, but she actually has two colors on her eyeliner. Uh, bluish silver and then it goes into a kind of rose pink and that looks really good she does have an alternate face print as well this is also a fantastic face print she has the same metallic lipstick and eyeshadow and little sparkles on the sides and it's more of a singing or belting type of face and it looks really great they got the emotion I guess they captured it really well with this, and it looks fantastic on the figure. Moving on to the torso, she has more of those metallic sparkles on the front of her chest around here and going all the way down. You can't really see it too well with the lighting right now. There we go. It really, when, you, when it catches the light, it just really looks great. She also has a purple belt, I think that is. And she has some purple little polka dots on the sides here. And then this type of necklace, or I don't know if it's a necklace or if it's part of her entire costume. She does also have that really annoying negative space printing on her waist. I really dislike it when female figures have this negative space printing on their waist. Something to note is that a lot of the female figures in Minifigure Series 21 don't actually have this negative space printing, so I'm really happy about that. This one does, but seeing as not all of them do, I'm more okay with it. Moving to the back of the figure, the printing is a little bit, it's okay, it's quite washed out on the back here for her back, but generally I'm okay with it here, more so than if it were on the face, because you're not really gonna be looking at the back of this figure that much. You're more gonna display it from the front. She also has printing for her shoulder blades, which I find to be a really cool detail. She has more of the metallic sparkles on the back right there, some on her belt, and more of the purple polka dots on the side, and then the negative space printing. Moving down to the legs, she has more of the purple polka dots on the side here, and more of the metallic sparkles on the waist part, and then going down to the legs. She has some of the metallic sparkles on the tops of her boots here. I also really appreciate that they added printing on her waist piece here as well. I know it's not the rarest thing ever, but I still really appreciate it when they do it, and they've done it very well here. 
She also has dual molding for her legs, which I really appreciate them doing, and the little prints continuing it up to make it look more like boots. No side leg printing, but that's quite acceptable for the, you know, detail in this minifigure. Around the back, nothing, but, you know, Lego never really prints on the back of legs, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, overall, great leg prints. It looks really fun and just sparkly, and I love it. She comes with an accessory, which is a mic and mic stand. Overall, I think it's a pretty good accessory. It has printing on the end of the mic. It's a little bit off center up here. Don't know if you can see that, but overall, it's not really a huge deal for me. I don't really have that much to say about it though. I mean, it's a mic and mic stand. It looks quite good and it does stand up on its own, which I appreciate. Overall, this is a fantastic figure and really gets me excited for Minifigure Series 21. The quality on this figure is so high and I really have a feeling that the other figures in Minifigure Series 21 are gonna have just this level of quality. I am so happy with it and I'm so okay with having less figures but higher quality. I really hope you enjoyed this review of the Showgirl minifigure from Minifigure Series 21, and I hope this helped you out in some way. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, and if you're really looking forward to what's coming next, even turn on the notification bell. That's it for now, and I'll see you all later. Doodlebricks, out.